What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And today, guys, I'm going to be filming my Q&A always after SmackDown and AEW Rampage is what I am legit about to watch. Um, I'm right after I film this video. So, I got five... I got five questions from DJ Taz 316. Um, and the first question is if Roman Reigns um, f um fought the Rock, who would win? Roman Reigns. But if it okay, if it was like 1997 Rock, 1998 Rock, um or 2003 Rock, um, 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 possibly The Rock, but in today's in today's era, Roman Reigns still retains the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. So, I choose um Roman Reigns to retain the title um and fight the rock and win and i am just now watching the the rest of smackdown that i missed the other day because i did watch all of um the rock and roman with the Rock joining the bloodline, but it looks like the L for loser. Cody Rhodes, you're a loser. We want Cody, we want Cody, we want Cody. No, we want Roman Reigns to smash. We Cody Rhodes. So, if, if Roman Reigns fought The Rock, Roman Reigns would come out the winner. Now, the next question is, do you think Dolph Ziggler was misused in the WWE? Hell yes. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yes. He, I don't think he was given enough time with the world title. I, I legit thought that in 2016, he had one of the best rivalries with The Miz for the IC title, and he had one of the greatest promos in in 2016 with Dolph. Z yes, yes, Dolph Ziggler had us had a match with Dolph Ziggler. Hold on, someone's texting me. Um, Dolph Ziggler and Dean Ambrose, a.k.a. John Moxley, had a great promo for the lead-up in 2016. Now, now, going back to the first question real quick, if Roman Reigns fought The Rock, would the title be on the line? And, and would it be at, at WrestleMania 40? Now, that's the question there. But... If the title was on the line, hell yeah, Roman Reigns would retain. Hell yeah. But because we because I think Triple H is trying to get Hulk Hogan out of WWE like they did with Brock Lesnar. I do. I think that. I, I I really do. So I, I believe Roman Reigns will hold the title till September and then drop it to delete deletion Hulk Hogan out of the WWE for good. So now Roman Reigns would defeat The Rock 100% in, in this era right now. Um, not, the, um, not The Rock that came back last night at, 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 on SmackDown. 
but like probably like 2019, 2020 rock, of course. So, do you think Dolph Ziggler was misused? Yes. Um, great job in 2016. I really thought he would win against um, Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley, at, at um at at SummerSlam when he said, "You know who the hell I am." You know who the hell I am. I'm the man who's going to burn Brooklyn to the ground, beat your ass, and become champion because I am that damn good. Bro. Blew my mind. I thought he was going to win. I, I really did. But I'm glad that Dean Ambrose won that match. But I really wanted Dolph, Dolph Ziggler to win. I did. But, um, yeah, he could have had more time with the world title. I believe, and I made a video on this about like two years ago. Um, I, made up an, I made up a scenario where Dolph Ziggler would win the world title at WrestleMania against The Miz. But I guess since he got fired from WWE, even though I saw I saw something on on here um, on the internet um, that he asked for his release a thousand times, and they wouldn't grant it. Um, but yes, he would have won many world titles, um, not just two. Yes, he he became champion for probably about forty seconds in two thousand eleven. Um, when on the six hundred on the six hundredth episode of SmackDown, and then Teddy Long came back and rehired Edge, and Edge speared him out of his boots, and and one two three later, new champion um, Edge for the ninth time. Or for the eleventh time, yeah, yeah, for the yeah for the eleventh time, and then he won it in two thousand thirteen, and then lost it due due to a concussion that Alberto Del Leo, or as I like to call him, Alberto Gelberto, Alberto Gelberto, um, um, that happened. Um, he he kicked him in the face with a ladder at Extreme Rules at like a few weeks before Extreme Rules, um, 2013. And yes, I was there, um, at Extreme Rules. Um, but um, yeah, his time with the world title was cut short. Um, if you guys want me to make a video on um, do you think Dolph Ziggler was misused in WWE? I'll I'll make that for sure. Um, just let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but yes, Dolph Ziggler was um way misused. Um, not for the IC title purposes, um, but just for the world title purposes. Um. And then the next question is, what was the best wrestling match you've seen live? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I've been to a bunch of events. Um, I, I really liked um, Brock Lesnar and Triple H in the Steel Cage match at Extreme Rules. Um, the steel cage match with Daniel Bryan, Big Show, and Mark Henry, that was cool to see live. Um, LA Knight and Jimmy Uso, um, it, it wasn't a match, but, but the promo that Bray Wyatt did, um, because I watched Bray Wyatt for the last time in 2022 when I went to SmackDown. And he says, I am Bray Wyatt, the man. I am proud to be here today. And I'm going to do some spectacular things while I'm here. I saw Uncle Howdy's, like, vignette and debut, like, kind of. I, I saw that live, so locked in my memory forever.
Um, I saw Luke Harper return at um, Battleground, but the mo but besides besides Bray Wyatt's return and Luke Harper's return, I think seeing Undertaker for the first time ever at Battleground 2015 was perfect. Perfect. Besides seeing Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper, but, um, and, um, Triple H, um, um, Jimmy Uso and L.A. Knight, yeah, um, seeing Jay Uso and Walter, um, um, two weeks ago on Raw, um, yeah, that was fun. So, those are my memories of Raw and SmackDown, and, um, I went to Raw um, two weeks before um, WrestleMania um, with a buddy of mine. Um, and we saw Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns like, oh my God, you're going to finish your story. Uh, oh yeah, and you went to a company you didn't go get over in. So what you do? You ran away. You ran away, and then you came here, and yeah, you you got over with the crowd, but then your little peck went pop. You're you're not cut out for this. You're gonna finish your story. You're gonna finish your story, dude. Dude, it's like a lotto ticket for you. You're not gonna win. You're not gonna finish your story. And the same thing is gonna happen at WrestleMania 40. You're not gonna win. Roman Reigns is going to win again, and The Rock is going to help him. But, bro, see, watching that live was spectacular. Uh, and then, he, then hearing Cody says, so at April 3rd, Tribal Chief, you got to know what it's like to lose. Like you're going to be Roman Reigns. You're going to be Roman with no more reigns. Then Jay is going to leave you. Then Jimmy is going to leave you too. And when that happens, that man, well, he just becomes an advocate again. And then you, which you've been glaring at me all night. You want to hear what he, when, when I was a third generation to to a champion, you're you think you're ready, you're not ready. Blew my mind. Perfection, dude. So that's what I think about um, being live at at pay per views, SmackDowns, and Raws. Perfection. Yeah, it it's like a lotto ticket for you. You see a hundred thousand dollars here. You see a hundred thousand. No, wait, 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 wait. You see, you see, you're the winner of WrestleMania 39. You see, you're the you see, you're the winner of WrestleMania 39. Oh, but I'm still kicking your ass at number three, and I win at WrestleMania 39. Cody, you're not cut out for this. So that's what I think about going to SmackDown oh, and Raw SmackDown pay per view live. And, bro, I had the greatest time ever. Um, so, number four, um, what is your favorite PS4 game you own? Um, it's Taylor GTA. Um, I just got Friday the 13th. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, probably all my wrestling games. Um, I just got 2K17. Um... I think 2K24 is going to be a banger. But although... Excuse me. God. Goodness me. Um, God. Um, um, so WWE, um, GTA, and, f and football, um, Madden, 2K23... And then and then wrestling. So there's four. Um, two K twenty three is um 
kind of good, but 2K24 is going to blow it out of the water. Um, AEW on um, um, Fight Forever is bad. Do not buy it, please. Save your money, folks. Do not buy AEW Fight Forever. Um, and then number five, um, what is your three favorite movies? That's easy. Oh, crap, it's not. My bad. Um, but, but my favorite one of all time is my favorite horror movie. It's called Stay Alive. It's about a killer video game that if you play it, you die for real. It has Frankie Muniz in it. Um, it has Adam Goldberg, um, Milo Venom Vena Tim Lay, um, Sofa Bush. And just a bunch of other people. Dude, it, it, it came out in 2006. It's great. You please go, go, please go watch it if you're a horror fan. Please. Um, my other two? I'm, I, I'm gonna say the Ted series. I, I just watched those. Those are funny as hell. Um... What what movies do I watch? Um, um, Stay Alive. My favorite TV show is Breaking Bad. Um, Malcolm in the Middle. And just um, my, my other favorite TV show is NCIS. If, 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 if that counts. Um, I don't. I like Bohemian Rhapsody. I, ooh, my other favorite movie is, is Rocket Man on the the Elton John story. Um, what's the other one I like? Um, I'm I'm House of Wax. Um, with, with Jared Padalecki, I like, um, on the Friday the 13th movies, I like, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, I like the Halloween series, wow, that's a bunch of movies I just named off, like, in 15 seconds, um, yeah, so those are my favorite movies, um, if if you want me to make a uh, a video on Dolph Ziggler was misused in the WWE, um, please let me know in the comment section of this video. Um, sorry, I gotta unplug my laptop here, and just please let me know. In the comment section down below, if you want me to make a Dolph Ziggler um, um, video. And if you want me to make a video of my best wrestling matches I've seen live. So, if you guys haven't done it already, please let me in to your subscription boxes on your phones, on your TVs, on your computers. Just please, please, please let me in. And if you guys haven't, if you guys haven't done it already... Please follow and, and subscribe to my channel, which is right here, right here. And if you guys haven't done it already, please follow the YouTube buzzes. Yeah. Guys, guys, this has been Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And I'm out. Peace.